The power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this. Stay tuned. All the action coming up next. Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Manchester United up against Newcastle United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is the team Manchester United will go with. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's the Newcastle formation. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, over the years, he's scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him, and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and we know what the result is. Good patient build-up as they try to fashion something. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Casemiro. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Now sending it in. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Long staff. A good and fair challenge. Maguire. Here's one Bissaka. Harry Maguire now. Given away by Manchester United. Bruno Guimaraes. Emil Kraft. Anderson. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Chances on. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Diogo Dallo. Casemiro. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Fernandes. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Guimaraes Longstaff Bruno Guimaraes The Magpies looking creative But really sticking to their task defensively This might be ideal for the counter Can they use it to their advantage? And the keeper more than equal to it. Yeah. 
Can someone get on the end of this? Not really the ideal clearance. Bruno Fernandes. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish that's a clever goal well he's got to make some changes now just to get his side back in this game And so the first half story has been written, half-time here at Old Trafford. And the ball moving again, advantage United, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns here. Anthony. Well, Newcastle have it back now. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them... Oh, in they could put it away, Stuart! And a goal here for Manchester United. They are the big favourites now. Well, I think that says it all. Ten Hag really does have a great relationship with his players. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Bruno Guimaraes. Emil Kraft. Dan Byrne. Longstaff. Elliot Anderson. It's Dan Byrne. Guimaraes. Well, we're into the final half hour. Byrne. Emil Kraft. Newcastle moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Long staff. And drawing it back. Strong play here. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Throw in to Manchester United. Coming off the pitch. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Coming onto the pitch, number 15, Harvey Barnes. This is a message for Andy Topham. That's Andy Topham. Can you please return to your vehicle immediately? Thank you. On to Wan Bissaka. Into the final 20 minutes. Barnes Newcastle in a potentially dangerous position he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one Anthony Harvey Barnes
long staff that's a good looking pass oh the referee has given it penalty it is well no card just a warning and a fair few protestations well not every foul is a yellow card i think the referee is right here substitution then let's see how... and he puts it away confidently well here it is again he makes it look so easy the keeper dives slightly early and he passes it into the other side really confident finish So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Here's Juan Bisaka. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, an excellent save, and they're still alive. Well, that really would have been it. They're still in it here, but they're going to have to be quick. And cleared off the line. Bruno Fernandes has it. Dallo. Nicely timed tackle. Barnes long stuff so three minutes of stoppage time coming up Callum Wilson it's Dan Byrne and here they come still pressing for an equaliser Is it going to be? Keeper did his job to begin with. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. Trying to deliver it accurately, and clearing it away. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances for overall.